A few people have asked me if they could somehow donate uh, to the work I do, so creating these video tutorials. So, because a few of you asked, I created this Patreon page. So if for some reason you wanna send some money my way, you can use that. I don't have any rewards, I will be very thankful to you, but as of right now there are no rewards, this is primarily used just as a tip jar. If you don't wanna donate anything that's also okay, I hope you enjoy the videos and that you may uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so that's it about Patreon, let's get to work. Okay, so let's learn something today. So one of the viewers on the channel who is accidentally also called Ivan uh, pointed something out to me the other day on Facebook. Uh, he said that we covered quote unquote hard stuff on, on October, but we didn't cover some of the basic stuff. One of those things is static pages. So what is that? So static pages plugin is plugin for, well, creating static pages. But then you can say, okay, so we can go to the CMS and also create static pages there. And you would be right. If you are creating a website for yourself, I don't think there is a need for you to create the, uh, for you to install static pages plugin. But if you are creating a website for a client and you want to allow that client to manipulate those static pages, so add content to them, add images, write uh, some copy and so on, then you would actually install static pages plugin because it will allow your user or your client to easily edit those pages. Also, what you get with static pages is sub pages, so you can create sub pages very easily and you can create menus and put those menus around your site. So you would have a header menu, footer menu and so on. We are going to be covering all of that in this video. Okay, let's go to the settings uh, section of our site. We go to updates and plugins and search for static pages. Okay, install it. Okay, so now our plugin is, is installed successfully and as you can see, you get a new menu item right here where you can create your pages. But the static pages plugin won't uh, work out of the box because uh, for it to work, you actually need first to in, uh, install, not install, but uh, create a layout for your static pages. So we are going to go to our code editor and as you can see, I'm already in the layouts folder. So that would be themes, the name of your theme, ours is called Olympus, layouts, default HTM. And here we can actually duplicate this file and call it static layout. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right here uh, is I'm actually going to get rid of this partial header and copy the content from the header because we are going to manipulate it a bit. Okay, so this is our header and I'm going to remove this navigation that we created by hand. Okay, so this is our static layout. Uh, the content of your static pages is going to be displayed right here. So where the pages, so you don't need to uh, touch that. And also let's uh, remove this partial footer you can use them, you can actually create another partial called footer static pages or something like that and uh, import it right here, include it right here. But I'm going to delete it and copy the content from the footer. Paste it in because we are going to add a footer menu right here. Uh, and I'm actually going to do that right now. So I'm going to create a div called footer menu, actually nav tag. Okay, so we are going to put our menu right here and right here we are going to put our header menu. Okay, let's save this. And now if we go to the CMS section of our site, we have all of these static pages right here, but you also have something called layouts. So if I click on the layouts and go to the static layout.htm, what I can do right here is I can go to components and then to pages and then uh, put this static page component right here. 
So now this page is used uh, for a layout for layouting <laughs> layouting uh, for static pages layout. Okay. Uh, so we just save this, and now we have our static pages layout. So let me show you how the static pages actually work. So you go to pages, and it's something actually similar to uh, what you would get out of the box with WordPress. So you would get pages and you would also get these menus right here. So I can do something like this. I can create a new page, call this page about, and this is going to be our about page. Okay, and now as you can see, the URL of that page is about. We can save this. And now if I go right here and go to that URL, I'm on my about page. As you can see, the uh, menu for our site disappeared because it's actually using this layout and we don't have anything right here. So if I write something here and go to that page, refresh it, now you would get that right here. Okay. so let's delete this because we are going to put a menu here and now let's try to create a sub page so you can of course add another page or you can create sub page so let's call this page about us and as you can see the url automatically defaults to this so about about us okay uh, the layout for the page i forgot to mention that should actually be uh, not this because we forgot in the static actually you didn't forget anything i forgot it uh, we need to set this description to be static layout and not uh, default layout because we already have a pay, uh, layout that is called default layout so let's refresh this and you can choose that static layout right here but it's a uh, chosen for you by default so let's save this okay so this is about us sub page let's save it and now of course if we go to about us you would get this is about us page you can create another sub page which would be called let's say about them put something in here save it now you have two sub pages for your about page you can also add contact page for example so contact page and so on but as you can see the difference between these static pages and the uh, pages that you get in this CMS section is that you have a text editor right here where you can write uh, your content uh, you can add images, you can uh, drop in videos, uh, you can check out the code view, so pretty basic stuff. You can also add meta descriptions to your pages and so on. So let's save this. Now we have these pages right here and they're showing here. This doesn't look like much, so let's try to create menus for those static pages so let's click on menus uh, add a new menu and now we can add an item what you can do here you can just write all pages or something like that the title doesn't matter and you can choose all static pages so you would automatically create a menu that will show all of your static pages and then we are going to replace this item with its generate children. So we don't have, uh, we don't want to have all pages in our menu, just those children pages. So I'm going to click that and click apply. So now we should have a menu that would display or all of our static pages. And it says it needs a code for our menu and also probably a name. So this is going to go to a header header menu and I'm going to call my code header menu without uh, the dash in between header and menu 
and save this because we are going to need this header menu code so that we can tell October okay I want to use that menu right here now uh, we created that of course if we go right here refresh it nothing will happen because we still didn't tell October where do we want to put that menu and uh, to do that we are going to go to CMS go to layouts static layout.htm and then uh, you can go to components and you can you have this static menu component uh, drag it where you want your menu to be so I'm going to drag it between nav class main nav and uh, closing nav tag right here so as you can see we have component static menu I'm just going to click on it and here you would choose which menu do you want to use so I'm going to say header menu save this and now if I go to about us page I should get that menu right here as you can see it doesn't uh, look very great uh, because we don't have any stylings for sub menus but if you check out the code you will see that we have ul then you have an li you have an about page and then you have another ul right here so with this code and some css you can create maybe a drop down menu or something like that then you have a link to the static page uh, to contact page about them page about us and so on so one thing actually i'm missing right here uh, is the title for our pages so as you can see we just get the content but we don't get the title of the page so to correct that i would just go to my static layout uh, file and right here where the content of the page should display I will do something like h1 and in here I would add this page title okay if I save it and refresh this page now you get this about title and the same thing is for all other pages okay now what you can do <clears throat> let's create another menu and this one we are going to add to our footer so I'm going to go to menus, call this one footer menu and footer menu is going to be without the dashes. I'm going to add items. So now I'm going to add items one by one. So I can maybe call this uh, menu item movies and I can choose CMS page right here. And then I would get reference of all the CMS pages that I have. So I have movies page okay apply and now we have a movies link to our page we can add another item uh, call this one login go to the cms page and choose the login page apply and maybe let's do that add actors page that we have and now you don't have to go to cms page you can just type a URL right here if you want and click apply so now we have uh, three uh, menu items save this go to our layouts static layout and just like we did for this header menu we would do the same thing uh, but we would put that menu right here so between nav class footer menu and nav uh, I'm going to go to components static menu and put it right here okay so now we have a, a static menu right here and I'm going to choose footer menu so you can also put header menu right here if you want but I'm going to choose footer menu save this and now if I go right here I would have movies login so if I click login, I would go to the login CMS page. Uh, you know that that is a CMS page because as you can see, this, 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 have, uh, this changed. And uh, that's about it. So that's the way you would create the menus for your pages and also your static pages. This is actually pretty basic usage of static pages plugin. 
Uh, of course, you can completely replace uh, your CMS pages with these pages. You can mi mix them together like it's on this side. You just have to consolidate this menu right here. And uh, let's just see if we can actually put the menu. So we have these partials right here, header. Can we put the menu right here? Let's see. So I'm going to delete uh, the menu for the main nav, right? Delete it and go to components and put static menu right here. Delete these UL tags. I don't know if this will even work. I think it, will, it should. So I'm going to choose header menu. Okay, save this. Right, so, okay, so it works. So you can create, if if you wanna have a, a way for you to manipulate the menus from the backend, then you can actually install Static Pages plugin, maybe not use the pages at all, but use it just for creating menus. So that's another use for this uh, Static Pages plugin. Okay, so this is it for this video. Uh, everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also you may consider subscribing to my channel if you like the content i put out uh, you can ask me questions on facebook or on twitter github youtube website and if for some reason you want to throw some money my way you can use the patreon page for that hope you guys enjoyed this uh, and i will see you in the next one